<laughs> so I'm Attic Bruce here and we're outside the Oculus booth getting all kinds of reactions and impressions from people that just tried the development kit too. Um, so we are here and uh, we have our first victim. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself sir and uh, tell us a little bit about the experience. Um, name's Brian aka Bellardo on the Reddit um, sub -for or forums or Reddit. <laughs> but I uh, got to try both of them out today. It was uh, great. Long, long lines all day but but uh, it looks really good, really smooth. The, I mean, the positional tracking's there. It, it just looks, it looks hot. It's, uh, it's really, really good. I tried both experiences. The Val Eve Valkyrie was seemed a little off on the on the, the the aspect ratio on it, but other than that, it was it was a lot of fun. That game's gonna. That game's gonna get my money for sure. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It already has. It's playing mine many moons ago. It's amazing. I yeah, love that game. <laughs> and playing and playing from both perspectives on the other demo that they have. Uh, what's it called? Can the Couch Knights. Yeah, Couch Knights. Uh huh. It's weird because you're like you're looking at the other person, but you're next to the other person, and it's so wild, it's, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's very crazy. Yeah. But um, I tried to break it, like turning my head all the way around 360, and I was able to actually go 360. That was great. Nicely done. It's, uh, yeah, and I can't wait. I got my kit ordered. July's the day. Get the stem, the Omni, and DK2 all in the same month. Christmas in July. <laughs> Good guy. So I, no. Yeah, my name's Neil and Ledbetter. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a curator for the Museum of Art and Digital Entertainment. Yes. We're a museum out in Oakland. Cool. And I just tried the uh, Couch Nights. Yes, Couch Nights. Couch Nights uh, with the Oculus. And let me tell you, man, the immersion is there the moment you put it on. Nice. And, and like, I used heavily the prototype, and you know, the resolution was really was really bad, and I was suffering through it, even because it was so amazing. It was hurting my eyes. I didn't care. I had to play more. The, the new prototype did, doesn't hurt your eyes at all. I don't, you know, maybe your viewers will know what the Virtual Boy is like. Right when you strap that sucker on, yeah. it immediately starts hurting your eyeballs. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. got a little bit of feeling of that with the prototype, the first gen prototype. Second gen prototype, you can tell the higher resolution immediately makes all that pain go away. It's, it's still about. a little bit fuzzy, it's uh -huh. got a little bit more to go. But man, you guys are so damn close to full immersion. To like full, this is the next. This is the next step when it comes to video, like playing video games. I mean, imagine adventure games. You know, where you you, you just lean up to the texture and you and you get it and you get a look. You know, they got an inscription on the wall. It's scribbled very lightly. Yeah. You can't. You know, instead of walking up to it, pressing A and having a little text pop up, you just walk up to the wall. And, yes. and you look closely, and you can see it right there. Like the, like the, the, uh, the, what this is going to give video game developers in the future uh -huh. is a whole new set of tools to create the worlds and universes that we all love so much. Awesome. I, I mean, this is like it really for me. It feels like the difference between kind of like black and white kind of beginning cinema you know like we're, we're getting a good idea uh -huh. and then you know we're then you know when cinema kind of evolved and started telling richer stories you know re, you know better kind of like this it feels like a tone shift nice. it really does you know and I don't say that lightly because yeah. you know, I've, I've done a lot of you know played a lot of stuff and you know a lot of accessories things like that a lot of cool stuff totally but you know this honestly feels like something totally brand new Nice. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Definitely. Agree. All right, here I am. Uh, we've got another one this time. We've got my boy Chris here, and he's uh, just tried Eve Valkyrie on DK2. Give me some feedback. Give me some impressions. Go. I was uh, I was thoroughly blown away. I, uh, I w the latency was, you know, it, it again. I, you know, people will say it's not one to one yet, but it was really close enough. I, and I think it's because uh, DK1. I, I actually admitted I, I used to get uh, motion sickness, uh, simulation sickness. This yeah. one. I was doing the barrel rolls and then waving up and down, and it was uh, it was seamless. And I think it's uh, you know it, it, it show it goes to show how much work Oculus has been putting together over over the course of this year. I'm excited, nice. man. Really excited. Excellent. I'm excited too. It was like it was so it's immediate comfort. All the, all the tracking, all the positional action that was happening felt so so good. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Totally agree. I agree. Yeah, okay, my name's uh, Heiko. I'm uh, from Germany. I'm a journalist. So all oh, right, doing developer magazine. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. Welcome to the States. Well, Thank you. I'm sure this is probably not your first trip here. Uh, the right. seventh, actually. Oh, all right. Excellent. You, uh, all right. All that. Very good. Excellent. So what did you think of the experience at the Oculus Rift? Uh, it was pretty interesting. Um, it's definitely a new step for gaming. So uh, it was really, really amazing. The, the f 
the feeling for your body uh, that was probably the most impressive thing that you could actually look down and see your legs in the cockpit so that was the, the first impressive thing yeah and it um, I already played uh, elite on oculus and um, sp space sims work exceptionally well with this kind of hardware totally. I'm still I'm still um, skeptical when it comes to other games where it's more about navigating through wood and stuff like that because mm -hmm. you really have to get used to the movement in there and mm. in space it doesn't matter because it's just three-dimensional it completely feels natural so and I'm still wondering if you it was great here because it was just a I don't know three or five minute match but if it would last for 30 minutes or a two or three hour gaming session I'm still not too sure if I won't get sick yeah <laughs> very good well that will be the test of time for sure you see if it'll yeah. actually you know that hey gamers like to buckle down and play a game for a few yeah. hours so that's definitely under a valid point yeah excellent well thank you for your feedback thank definitely you. appreciate it so i'm andrew um and i thought that was absolutely awesome uh it was great working with the space simulator i feel like being able to look around my cockpit is like exactly what space simulators have been missing <sighs> yes i love being able to look around and uh you know see your enemy in the sights uh, aim at them, like follow them and turn your ship. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I was really mad when it was over. Excellent. Oh, yes, I can definitely <laughs> relate. Definitely relate. How do you feel afterwards? You feeling pretty pretty good? Pretty yeah, healthy about really the experience? Yeah? yeah, absolutely. All right, excellent. That's my fantastic. name's Brad, and I thought it was awesome. I mean, my inner child would be proud of how much ass I kicked. Uh, <laughs> I feel great. I want to get in there again and just fly around space. I blew a few guys up. I was, I was pretty pro. That is uh, that is nothing more satisfying yeah, right? than blasting a friend out of the air, <laughs> I must say. Very good. Excellent. Thank you for your impression. Yeah, I appreciate it. Excellent. Uh, I'm Drew Griffin. I'm an independent game developer. I've actually uh, developed with the uh, Oculus Dev Kit before. Oh, right. So this is my first time with uh, the Crystal Cove uh, model, and i got to say it's an impressive step forward. Really excited about this technology. Nice, nice, excellent. I'm glad. More Oculus impressions from right outside the Oculus booth here at GDC 2014. My friend, introduce yourself. Give me some impressions. Tell me what you think. Hi, I'm Steven, and uh, that was pretty awesome. I think the way they handled the experience is a good way to do it for VR, having you in a shuttle, looking around in space, being able to barrel roll, and getting that inertia of like, whoa, I'm upside down. And it's really convincing and really cool. It was a really interesting experience, and definitely a good step forward for VR. Nice, excellent. Glad you enjoyed it. I, I concur all the way. Thank you for your feedback, man. Thanks. All right. I'm Zach. Uh, I just got done playing the uh, e v uh, Valkyrie uh, Oculus uh, VR kind of demo. Nice. It was really, really cool. Uh, it's like you were in the cockpit of a fighter uh, in EVE. And when you look around, it's like you're actually looking around a spaceship. You have a one control for like maneuvering your ship. You have missiles and guns. It felt really awesome because like when I'm flying past an enemy ship, I get to you looking at it and then maneuver my ship. And it's like I'm in the cockpit of the ship. And it was over like this. I don't yeah. know how long that demo was. Probably three minutes. Not like long enough, right? Ten seconds. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I like I take it off and I'm like, oh. Here. So what is what is this? What is this life about? Yes. Come on, like put me back, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to be a fighter now. There we go. Uh, my name's Jack. It's uh, try the game. It's a pretty impressive. It's uh, actually I'm not a uh, game player, but for this one I really like it. I want to play with that. It's uh, really changed my mind. <laughs> oh, right, excellent. Yeah. Did yeah. you think that VR wasn't really? Well, what did you think before you tried it? Uh, you know, I, I you know I know them before I come to the company and uh, try the demo. I, I know the impression, but I never tried the game. But for the game, it, oh, that's uh, so impressive. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Right. Excellent. Uh, yeah, my name's Simon, and uh, I played the Space Flight Simulator one, mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of like flight simulators already. Nice. So it was uh, it was super awesome to be able to like just felt really comfortable rolling. I didn't get motion sick, you know, and to. Uh, see other spaceships like to fly by and then see them go out the window as your missiles hit them it's pretty amazing yeah very cool yes yeah. I, that's one of my favorite things to do to kind of watch an enemy go by and roll the ship to the side to try to pursue it definitely it's definitely cool, right? yeah i love the space oh, awesome. my name's avi zolti a co-founder of the y combinator backed beat deck holy fucking shit that's it that's it holy fucking shit it's a wrap if i had a mic i'd drop it <laughs> <laughs> nice.